All right, Taurus, welcome in. How you doing? Let's see where we're going for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. In the extended, I'm going to look at the astrology of August 2024 for you. I'll talk about a little bit about how um, the Mercury in retrograde may be impacting you. We also have that Mars, or sorry, that Jupiter, um, Jupiter conjunct Mars in Gemini. Talk more about that and how that's impacting your life. All right, so let's see where we're going with the reading. Ah, okay. Meditate. I like that. Good fortune. Excellent. Oh, yes. Okay. Uh, we have a new moon in Leo, and that's happening in your fourth house of home. So some of you are manifesting a new home. Look at you, divinity. Uh, some of you are going to be working on manifesting that new home. And I got my citrine right here. Um, it's going to be like a little creative and other people may help you a lot. There may be, there may be some, um, you know, I, I see you manifesting, right? I see you praying. I see you, you know, Hey, I want a new home. I want something that is, you know, going to expand my creativity. I feel kind of penned in where I am. I'm looking for something that is going to express my new life and where I'm going. I like the good fortune card there. All right. I like the good fortune card there. So let's see where we're going. It's almost like um, you're being granted this gift, some kind of new place to live, home, not just a place to live, a home. There's a big difference, right? Big difference. And you know it because Taurus, you're ruled by Venus. So you, you understand that. All right. Underneath is death, the moon, the knight of swords, the chariot card. Wow. And the wheel of fortune. I am going to take this strength card. That's Leo time that we're in right now. And here's the moon, right? This new moon, uh, new moon in Leo on August 4th. Um, there's an ending here. Lots of Cancerian energy, Sag, Pisces, Leo energy, Scorpio. Could be dealing with a water sign um, that is coming to an end. They are not very delicate about this. The Knight of Swords is kind of um, rage, ragey <laughs> or... Um, I just feel like that might be why things are ending. There's some kind of of resentment built up resentment built up or rage this person has um a temper somebody has a temper somebody has a temper and there's also fire here with sag and leo um knight of swords this is about forward movement into victory like kind of not very delicate with that chariot energy there and the new moon in leo could be the time period around which this moves on wheel of fortune this is a destined faded um ending all right so that is something that's bubbling under the surface you might be moving in in august or they're moving in august or something like that the justice card nine of wands Oh, I like this. This the um the star card. Hierophant. Oh, sorry, hermit. Ooh, five of swords and the five of cups. Yeah, big change is happening here. Eight of cups, the temperance card, more Sagittarius, and the queen of cups. So um I feel like you have tried your best to heal this connection. And it's destined and fated to move on. So if you have an ending to a relationship, like you know it's coming, you might feel it coming. Um, justice is, you know, legal endings to things, contracts. There could be, a, a, a you know, a written contract about a house. Um, you could be closing on a house or something like that. And I also feel like you've worked long and hard to solve problems in your life. and it's now it's like I'm creating some kind of closure. I'm, I'm ending or I'm making some kind of contract 
that is going to bring to bring to an end um, a chapter that was fraught with some kind of anger or ego. Um, the the hermit and the five of swords. I just feel like yeah, you've had. You know, fives are about change. And so there is something about like, I'm taking my power back. There's no regrets here. No regrets. I'm going to do what I need to do. I, I'm just getting that very loudly. I'm going to do whatever I have to do to secure this new home, secure my next steps, even though I, I won't have any regrets about this. I am moving forward the the uh, eight of cups and the temperance card Call on Archangel Michael to help you and protect you, please, because I do see this. There's anger and fury going on, and I just feel like you're being delivered from that. Like this is the end of that time. And if you have been meditating, if you have been working on your spiritual path, if you have been doing that, that's going to come in very handy right now. All right. What is this chariot knight of swords about? Knight of Cups, Six of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, uh, and the Nine of Swords. It's something about money. There was some offer made about money that I feel like you might have um, rejected or may have been unfair. This person got really angry. And so I feel like now things are balancing out, but it's, it's like you woke up in the middle of the night. So I'll give you an example of this. You woke up in the middle of the night going, this is unfair to me. I'm not going to do it. So when I was getting a divorce back in 2007 into 2008, um, I was selling my home and I made a deal um, without getting the house appraised after putting a lot of money into it. And I woke up in the middle of the night going, that's the dumbest thing I ever heard. You need to get an appraisal. So again, we're back to the home thing, which is why I'm sharing the story with you. And I feel like you might have made a deal that is not equitable to you. And so you're going to have to go back. We do have Mercury in retrograde all the month of August. And it is um, starting out in Leo. So, you know, um, I'm, not the, I'm not a person who thinks Mercury necessarily always means be careful about your technology. Uh, in this instance, Mercury going uh, retrograde first in Virgo and then back into Leo. I'll be talking more about that. Virgo is about being um, very discerning. So I can see this creativity here. And going back into that fourth house, I would be very careful, especially because Libra signed off here, Libra's here, about signing anything, about making anything um, final in the month of August. I'd be very careful about that. If you're closing on a house, I would wait to close until after the 28th of August, okay? Because it's Mercury's in retrograde from the 4th of August all the way to the 28th, the whole month, essentially. So I'd be really careful about that. But my story, I'll finish my story since I didn't, um, I woke up in the middle of the night and said, I have to get this house appraised. And I called a friend of mine who's in real estate and she came over and she confirmed that I was um, making a big mistake if I stuck with the price I had originally agreed to. So I felt bad about that, that I was changing the deal, but I felt good in that I had done the research here. So something similar, you may have just made a deal just to get out of something just like, I don't care. I just want to be out of here. Like, but if this closing happens in the month of August, you may regret it. You may end up regretting it. So with the five of swords and the five of cups. So this is about having no regrets. Okay. And this is a pattern of yours to try to um, just make a deal, just to have it settled Instead, you're going to really want to string it out a little bit, or maybe you have been stringing it out and you're like, why am I stringing this out? Because it needs to be more equitable. Okay. So five of swords. Woo. 
Ten of Swords, Emperor. Ten of Wands, Ace of Swords. Okay. Okay. So during the month of August, I just feel like there is somebody who is trying to get the better of you here, Taurus. And you have been, they're, they're making you feel like they are the ones who have been you know, toting that barge and lifting that bale and you should be grateful and all this kind of stuff. And I just feel like you're like, nope. You're completely negating all of my, my impact, all of my contributions. This could be about a business partnership. This could be about buying a house, buying some property. Um, someone's trying to get the better of you here. And I do think it's going to occur to you. All right. I do think it's going to occur to you. So I love this eight of cups and this temperance card and this queen of cups. I see you, I see it. All of these things that we're talking about, I see them being healed because you are stepping more into your spiritual life and spiritual path, you know, being more aligned um, in a way that, makes you feel more confident. I almost feel like you haven't had a lot of confidence when you've been out of touch with your spiritual divinity. And you're starting to get the picture that for you to have good fortune, for you to have this home, for you to have this expansive life that you're working on creating, which I believe you will get, you're going to have to say, you're going to have to speak some truth to power. And that might be super uncomfortable for you. But it is the thing. It is the thing that moves you forward. And I like this. I just get the feeling that you are really being backed up spiritually by when you speak truth to this power. Okay. Because we got this emperor energy, but all around you is the temperance card, the um, hermit card, the star card. You know, there's a lot of spiritual support for you, Taurus, lots of spiritual support. And I actually see you kind of stepping out of this, moving down the road and becoming more of this queen of cups. Like you might have been the Libra energy or the strength energy here, you know, of like um, an avenging angel or something like that when you had to defend yourself in this other situation. But now that you're speaking truth to power, you have a lot of wisdom. You have a lot of, a lot to say about the direction you're going in. And I like this temperance queen of cups here. So talk to me for Taurus. Knight of pentacles. Wow. Tower, judgment, six of swords. Um, I'm going to say this to you, Taurus. The more you improve your spiritual connection, the more time you spend investing, I'm using that word on purpose, investing in meditation, investing in your own connection to the divine, the more time, this is going to be time well spent. Taurus, time is money, right? Like that's the thing that's going to create the path forward for you is to be invested in meditation um, expanding spiritual gifts, whatever, because you're going to become, you are on path to become this person that is spiritually connected, that has a lot of spiritual gifts. However, the, the more you do that now, the more, the quicker you'll see where you're headed. And I feel like some of you are not listening. You're maybe more concerned about the practicality of things. This is Virgo energy. So there's something about the, um, is it practical? And you may um, be, be letting someone kind of drive your decision-making because they're talking to you in terms of practicality. But the, the real path is the spiritual path here. And you're, I feel like you're doing both here. There's Virgo energy here. So Venus is moving into Virgo. We have the full, the new moon in Leo. We have Mercury retrograding from Virgo back into Leo. So there's something here about the practicality of expanding your spiritual connection that has a more 
con concentrated practical application in your life than just focusing on doing practical things. If you're not seeing your spiritual work or your spiritual practices as practical, you will after August. Uh, because I feel like you're going to foresee, you're going to see it coming. You're going to feel it coming. The more you're invested in meditating and all of that, the more on the other side of, on the other side of that tower, you are going to be moving forward more quickly. It's like the less you're invested in meditation or any kind of spiritual practices, the further away you are um, in terms of seeing this tower coming, knowing it's coming and doing something about it. The practicality of that really requires you step into your spiritual practice. That's the thing that's going to protect you in any kind of tower, any kind of tower here. And I feel like it has to do with other people kind of, trying to keep you from um, your full divinity. Yeah, seven of pentacles, four of swords, ace of wands. Oh yeah, and the hanged man. So you're now, um, the path here for you is about putting in time and attention to doing your meditative work. That's a very healing thing. And not only that, but what will come of it is ideas. This is exactly where you need to be when something blows up in the world, when some kind of big change happens, you've got the ideas and it's time to implement them. But if you're not doing the spiritual work, if you're not doing investing your time and energy in meditation, you're not going to receive the downloads that are going to help you get through this tower. Okay. So in the extended, I will look at the uh, astrology and we'll continue going with the tarot reading. There's a link below Taurus. If you want to continue on with me, I'll see you over there. All right. I hope you enjoyed that video. If it was helpful to you, please consider liking this video and sharing it with anybody who might have a need for similar kind of information. And if you like this video, check out these videos.